Hello, this is Victoria Tawa with the Office of the Combined Federal Campaign. For this segment, we will discuss setting up your CFC application. Starting with the 2017 campaign, all organizations applying for participation in the CFC program must submit an online application. The website address for the CFC application is cfccharities.opm.gov. When you log in for the first time, you will need to create an account. This is the same experience as for any web user. Whether you are applying on behalf of an independent charity, represents a federation, or are a member of the general public. When registering, you will be prompted to answer challenge questions. Please note that the answers to the challenge questions are case sensitive. If you previously registered on the site to submit the prior year's application, you will not need to set up a user account um, as a new user. The home page will default to your charity screen, which shows the charities whose information you are able to access. From this page, you can search for charities using the CFC code, the EIN, or legal name of the organization. Viewable charities depend on your user role. Using the settings and main menu, you can start an application for an existing charity or add a charity to your charity screen. You can also request access to a charity record and review invitations that have been sent to you to review a charity application. These requests and invitations are used to gain access, which when granted allows the charity owner or system administrator to assign the role of owner or editor. Charity owners can invite users to create an account associated with their charity or federation, while a charity editor can contribute information to an application. A charity owner has rights to fully administer a charity and its information applications. In addition to managing charity information and applications, the charity owner performs user management by assigning user roles and managing affiliations by joining a federation or choosing to remain independent. A charity may have multiple owners. A charity editor, on the other hand, is granted rights by a charity owner to edit charity information and to contribute to an application. The editor cannot administer users, manage affiliations, or withdraw an application. If the charity exists in the CFC application system, the user can send a request to access the charity's information and application. Access will not be granted until a charity owner approves that request. To request access, click on Request Access to Charity, enter the charity's CFC code or EIN, click the Select button next to Charity, add a note if desired, and click Submit Request. If a charity does not exist in the CFC application system, a user can add a charity. If after searching for a charity by EIN, the system returns no results, click the Add Charity Information button. To add a charity, simply provide the EIN organization name and physical address. Please note that post office boxes will not be accepted when adding a charity. Users should also not enter addresses of establishments recognized by the United States Postal Service as commercial mail receiving agencies. Examples of such agencies include, but are not limited to, the UPS store and mailboxes, etc. Providing such an address as the physical address of the organization will be deemed a false response as described under the advisory statement given previously and may result in the denial of the organization's application. Once all information is entered, a CFC code will be assigned. Click Continue. The organization's information is confirmed on the following page. Here, you can verify the CFC code, EIN, and the address you provided. From this point, you can search for another organization by clicking Search Again, or confirm the information and start an application by clicking Confirm and Continue. To start a charity application, click on Begin Charity Application. 
Please note that only federations should click on Begin Federation Application. From here, the rest of the online process will consist of the applicant application's content that will be submitted to the CFC. As you proceed through the application, the system will alert you to any attachments you may have missed. Please review the next video in the training series for instruction on how to complete steps one to three of the CFC application.